that's going to change my life back then when I was like doing a video I was single and almost doing my modeling career and teaching as a job and then I moved to Okinawa from Tokyo and I moved in with my boyfriend and then now I can call him my husband oh. I always call him already yes we got married already this 2021 was the first year, uh, first month of the first year. It's a new beginning of our life. And since last year, we got a lot of um, challenges, documentation delays, and because of Corona, a lot of things and papers, leave requests are still. We were really having a hard time um, asking permission to go. Uh, to Tokyo since there is no Philippine Embassy here in Okinawa now we finished everything and we got married and I'm really excited about marriage life and for some reason I decided to do a military spouse vlog or like any uh, details or documentation how to be a military spouse or what will affect what will it affect me as um, a spouse because we have a lot of things that we I have to learn actually because of um, the, the differences marrying a civilian and a military and also today I'm going to um, walk with you to go to the city hall and get our marriage certificate so we got married last January 4 2021 and then from that one, they have to check our documentation. I thought that they called us for only inspections and checking of our documents if it's all the papers that we have to translate it. But they said everything was good and everything was fine. We suddenly have to call our witnesses on that day to sign and then move. Since my friend Sakiko Matsubara is in Tokyo, I have to ask the translator personal to sign my witness since she was there already. And after that, they told us to wait for um, another week to get our marriage certificate. So for today's video, we are going to go together to the city hall which we got signed and married it's kind of a little bit um simple it's literally nothing at all you just go to the city hall and sign some papers and also i'm going to make a video on how to process my wedding or like our marriage using documentations and stuff from papers how we started everything on next videos or videos in the future that's coming up so for now i'm just going to tell you that i'm really excited and it will change my life and everything and what will happen after i got married that's the videos i wanted to make for this time and also we decided since we got married here in japan we decided to have a small kind of uh, photo wedding photos uh, even though we didn't have a, a professional photo photographer I took a picture here at home which it's over actually here I used a white background since um, the video I showed you before I do my backdrops a little bit and then also I will show you some results of DIY home uh, wedding photos Okinawa that is catering a rental for Kimono. 
on the wedding dresses and to be honest when I researched everything was really cheap but it's in Kyoto or in Tokyo and since we live in Okinawa there's a lot of rental places that it's located in Naha and Naha is quite cheap too but you have to have a booking and since it's a um, military restriction they're not allowed to go to Naha to take or, or travel because of Corona and some of the places in Naha that we researched was really um, close because of Corona again Corona come on now and so we decided to find another one that is so near here in the house and as you can see this photo studio is located in gate to Karina and I kind of like take a video on the front when we were there but when we go up I, I had a little video um, me and them they're fixing my hair but I didn't have a chance to take a video when we were changing clothes or when they're putting the clothes to us because they said it's not allowed and also when we are in the studio and we were taking pictures maybe because um, they we get to pay for everything we have to pay for everything and if we are going to take a video of everything it's just like I don't know like maybe it's kind of like traditional there's like um people who did their like really nice and uh, really some of them can speak English and some of them can't and it's not a, a problem to me so I did uh, try to communicate with them in English while they're fixing my hair and um, compliment them to say like it was really good and I really love the experience of wearing the kimono and I asked them about the kimono wedding dresses and then they said that it took so long to wear a kimono dresses and it will be more expensive so they said that if you want to just take a photo of a remembrance for your wedding just make a photo uh, kimono casual and when we were um, waiting for our um, turn to take a photo we were um, looking at this photo album and it has so many foreigners which is obviously Americans and all around the world but mostly Americans that was deployed here in Okinawa and they look really good um, in kimonos I've seen a lot and I didn't take a video since I keep uh, saying it's uh, they said it's not allowed to take a video um, inside the studio or something like dressing but uh, took a picture somewhere out while waiting and and then we took a picture and we paid almost like a family package I think it's family package which cost us 19,000 something like 19,000 I forgot how much 19,500 something like that which is very expensive and I was like oh my god but then at the same time I realized when I was calling them they are the only open store I mean photo studio they have photographer they uh, printed your picture they will put the clothes to you and then they will serve you um, drinks and stuff they will fix your hair so it's kind of like a good package set to pay and we just have to wait for um, two or one week or two if after they call since they have a lot of customers also and um, if you, you wanted to uh, get the whole pictures because after the photo sessions, they will ask you to to just choose how many pictures do you want or do you like this, do you like that and they will print it as a souvenir from your photo shoots. But then uh, if you wanted to take all the pictures, you have to buy the CD which costs 10,000 yen. And I'm like, I really didn't want to throw all the pictures because it was just like once in a lifetime and it was kind of like... I never know when I can take photos again even though we can go other places and take photos by yourself but it means a lot to me since it's the only remembrance we have for our wedding and he my husband thinks that I really like it because I was I know I love taking photos and 
he said, okay, I'll, I'll just take it. We just take it. So he paid um, 29000 almost 300 bucks, to get our um, pictures and everything. And after that, yeah, we just waited until now, this week. So um, that's the most, uh, like, you know, like, a, what do you call this? A very traditional way of getting married here in Japan even though we didn't have a chapel or any ceremonies we did it ourselves together and I was just really happy because we had to uh, get married really fast after a year of waiting and yes so from now on I will be Mrs. Oh. McCoy and I was still not thinking about like oof I can't still believe it so I think that that's how you feel when you like just got married even though we really don't have a big uh, celebration maybe we can do it in the future when Corona stops or finish and yeah that's it that's the announcement for today's video guys and I'll show you some uh, pictures and videos that is included in this video so thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you guys like